Welcome back guys. In this video, we'll be talking about Figma plugins. So head over to your homepage and click the Explore Community tab below the left side pin and come and search plugins in the community. So as you can see, I can search, let me say blob plugin, for example. Yes, blobs. To me, then I, once I click try it out, it opens a new tab, which allows me to try out blobs. Okay, now this is gradient blob shows you the maker and i'll still click try it out to open a new tab we all know what blob is when you visit some websites you see some oddly shaped elements with colors or gradients they are basically what are called blobs so you can see once you run the plugin it's the uniqueness and complexity will pop up the same thing for the gradient before you insert so that's just it for example i create a new frame now i create maybe a macbook pro I just align that nice and clean. I zoom out, zoom in, then let me create a blob. I'll right click, go to plugins, and the recently used plugins will show up there. Once I click blob, you can see I can insert it and I can drag it maybe to the right corner of the, the, my element, or I can drag it, uh, it below or outside my element. But now I want it within my element just the way you see some things that are oddly designed by the top right edge or the bottom edge so i'm just going to give it a gradient yes one thing i love designing with frames is that all the elements are aligned inside it once they are within the frame group and maybe when you're resizing or doing anything everything resizes in a very unique way that's like so this is also gradient i'm doing for this blob same thing i did on the other one so i feel you guys understand what blob is now so that's it for blob let me just go to photos one of the plugins i love using it helps you it also has inner purchases created by emin sani sanani this is what this plugin does it gives you a bunch of photos that you can be able to uh, use to throw out your design file yes that's just it let me say I highlight four, seven rectangles and I click the photos plugin. It's just going to put images for me, either on random or by category. So as you can see, once I click the human being, it's the portrait is just going to insert and look how it's looking. Very beautiful. I go back to plugins. I click photos and I uh, click random and i click random it's just gonna put a random picture there let's say i highlighted seven vectors or seven elements and click that random it will fix photos in all of them so the next one is when you come to your file you can see all your save plugins uh, there are two ways to access plugin either by right clicking on your canvas or going to the figma logo and going to the plugin subsection those are the two ways to access plugins so Go out there, try out a lot of plugins and give me feedback in the comment section. Let's know how it is. So this is photos. Yes, this photos. There's another one on splash. There are a lot of plugins. But after this video, I'm just going to pause it and download more plugins to my arsenal. Welcome back. In this video, I'll just talk about plugins I suggest for every Figma designer. So I'll start with the frame, which is the iPhone 14 Pro Max. Then I'm just going to zoom in and align my page nice and clean. And I'm going to find more plugins. So in this place, I can search on Splash. Yes, I mentioned this earlier. Just run this. It's just like photos, but it doesn't give you trial limits. That's one thing I love about it. So as usual, I'll draw a rectangle, click, uh, align it center, uh, duplicate it using the Alt key. Then highlight the three rectangles. Yes, just gonna align that center horizontally and vertically. So I'll just click random, just see what happens. Once that's done, it populates these three shapes with three different images. Isn't that cool? Yes, that was one of the things I like about Unsplash. So I go and search for blush. Blush is another plugin that I would suggest for any designer it gives you a bunch of illustrations you want to use and lets you customize the colors of this illustration so close all my frames and open another frame for Tim pro max as usual then i will just insert 
an illustration from the blush plugin. Yes, I'll just insert one. As you can see, you can even change the skin color. I'll just change that to dark. Yes, so that's that's just it. That's just it about blush. So you can resize it and do what you want to do. So I'll just go and find more plugins. Mockup Studio is one of them. Mockup Studio is a very good plugin. Why do I say that? It gives you that uh, mockup. The mockup we downloaded in prototyping section of this course. You can just use this plugin to insert any frame into a phone mockup or whatever mockup you choose. So it's basically going to export this mockup and send it to your download folder. Yes, it hasn't yet come up. So I'll just, I'll export as file. Because I earlier clicked place in document, as you can see, it brings the pop up to download it. And here it is saves you time, even leaving your application. So what's the next one? Um, next one is I'll create another frame. I'll create another frame. It's as usual, zoom in, find more plugins, wireframes. Wireframe. Yes. One thing about this plugin is that it saves you a lot of time. It saves you a lot of time. Instead of designing each element in your low fidelity wireframes by yourself, this just lets you bring in maybe a music player. Instead of designing all the elements of a music player, it just lets you drag and drop something that's already been customized for you. Okay. Look at this now looking like a gallery of images or, or blog posts with the featured image. So you can even stretch it out vertically and horizontally. I just did that using the Alt key to stretch out the both ends of the element. So that's the good thing about wireframe. You can see you, you, instead of just um, designing the image uh, mock-up, I can just drag and drop any component I want. Okay, look at the Google Maps own. Look at uh, even the sign up login too. You can get that from here. So I just duplicated this frame and I'll still open wireframe just to further explain what I am talking about. Let me look for something else to put something that syncs with what I have in mind. Yes, this is a login. So I'll just drag it inside this frame and as usual, center it, then expand both ends. I'm holding the Alt key while I drag it. That's what's giving it that feel. So that is just it. So um, in I'll find more plugins. One of the other plugins I want to talk about is Feather Icons. Feather Icons gives you lots of icons to work with, about 282 of them. So let's say I want to I want to add some certain things. Yes, I'm gonna resize this and add some certain things to the header, like the back button. Once you click it, it drops to your your uh, canvas currently highlighted one or drops anywhere then you click and drag it to where you want and hold the alt key and resize for all the corners to expand to a very perfect shape yes so let's say i'm looking for maybe settings icon oh, okay the cloud icon i just put that by the edge so expand it I shift it, everything is looking good. So this is what Feather Icon does and saves a lot of time.